Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let's take a look at the difference between menus in Windows and the menu bar on the Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 2,000 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about it. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. Now, whether you've moved from Windows to Mac, or maybe you have to use both, say one at work and one at home, a big difference is how menus work. Now, this may be both something you notice all the time and something that's easy to ignore because menus do have a kind of similarity. Here's Windows 10, and I just have the simple Notepad app open. And you can see there's a menu at the top. It's got File, Edit, and other menus there, just like on the Mac. But the big difference is you'll notice that the menu is at the top of the window itself, not at the top of the screen. In fact, when you open up a second window with the same app, so here are two notepad windows, you can see each has its own menu. So the menu's repeated. You can see two file and two edit menus here, one for each window. This gives kind of the illusion that the notepad app is actually open twice. There are two instances of it running. On the Mac, however, it appears that the app, in this case text edit, is just running once. There's only one app called Text Edit running, but the app has two windows with two separate documents open. So you could see the menus like File and Edit here at the top of the screen, not in the windows themselves. Also on Windows, especially today, sometimes you just don't have a menu at all. A lot of apps today have toolbars at the top with various buttons with icons. Some will have, say, a single button that you click to bring up that menu out of that one button, very much like how mobile apps do it. Or on the Mac, for the most part, there's the consistency of having the menu bar always present. It's always at the top of the screen and always has the most powerful commands and functions that you need for that app. But Mac apps also, of course, have toolbars like you see here in text edit and sidebars and other ways of interacting with them. And sometimes the functionality is even duplicated. Like for instance, here in the toolbar for text edit, there are buttons for bold, italics, and underline, but you can also go to Format and then Font and find those same items there. Let's take a closer look at the menu bar. One of the things that you'll see in the Mac menu bar all the time is the Apple menu. And it's the first menu here at the top left. And this menu actually doesn't change depending upon the app. So the Apple menu is going to be the same whether you're using Text Edit, Safari, or Pages. And here you're going to find things that have to do with your entire computer or the operating system. So for instance, about this Mac, you can get system settings, you can make your Mac go to sleep or shut it down, you can log out and so on. On Windows, these would all be part of the taskbar. But the taskbar does a lot more than that. And in fact, a lot of the other functions of the taskbar are what's found in the dock on the Mac, which is at the bottom. A lot of people actually mistakenly call the dock the taskbar, because of some of the similar functionality here, like the ability to launch apps. Another thing to notice about the Mac menu bar is that the second item, the first one after the Apple menu, always has the name of the app. This allows you to know which app you're currently using. So for instance, here I've got the Reminders app open and you could see Reminders is the name of the first item here. If I were to select a window from TextEdit, you can see I've brought TextEdit to the front and now text edit is the app running. So Mac users know to always look here to see which app is the current active one. And then from there, all of the different commands in the menu will affect that app and be specific to that app. And furthermore, they'll actually affect the frontmost window of that app. So for instance, if I were to use one of these formatting commands, it would have to do with this text edit window, not the one that's all the way in the background here. But if I bring this one to the front, now these would apply to this window. This is the active or frontmost window. And if you look at the menu item with the name of the app, this is where you're going to find a lot of common commands no matter which app you're using. Like for instance, the ability to quit or hide the current app. And you also should find access to settings for that app as well. So if I were to switch to reminders here, now you can see this is quit reminders instead of quit text edit and settings would apply to reminders. Another major difference between Windows and Mac is that when you close all of the windows of an app, and I'll just close without saving these, notice that doesn't quit the app. 
TextEdit is still the app that's running here. This allows you to close a document and then create a new document without having to relaunch the app. So the idea is that documents and the windows that contain them aren't the entire app themselves. The app can have one or more windows open or it can have zero windows open. Whereas on Microsoft Windows, you're not going to get that. If you close the last window, the app appears not to be running at all. The only way to get it back is to actually launch that app. So a couple more notes here about the menu bar. One is that a reason that the menu bar is here at the top is it's very easy to get to it. Instead of having to position your pointer vertically to be right where you want it, you can simply just push it all the way to the top. Whether you're using a mouse or trackpad, it's going to stop all the way at the top there. So vertically you don't really have to worry about getting it just right. Just go all the way to the top and then click and that will bring up that menu. And another thing to know is that the menu bar isn't always there. There are some apps, particularly games that like to go full screen, that don't use the menu bar. This is often so they can have their own controls built in so that they can appear to be the same whether they're on Mac, Windows, or even consoles. But for the most part, the menu bar is always there even if sometimes it's hidden. For instance, if I were to take this document here full screen, you could see the menu bar by default is hidden but if you move your pointer all the way to the top, it will drop down as well as sometimes toolbars and other things for the app you're using. So the menu bar is always there. It just may not actually be visible until you go to the top when you're using full screen mode. So I hope you found this look at the Mac menu bar useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.